Hi guys, this is a quick rundown on using VMware, um, VMware Fusion in particular, which is for the uh, Apple Mac. What you need to do is firstly go to the VMware website, which is vmware.com, uh, downloads and support, and it's VMware Fusion. And what you'll need to do is basically uh, register, register to download this one, basically click the download and it'll come up with registration options and go through and do that and they'll send you a link and also the registration code that will give you a 30 day trial so what I'm going to do now is go through and install VMware Fusion so here we go continue Continue, agree to this, serial number, continue, and hit install. And off it'll go and install VMware on your system. And there you go, it's finished installing VMware for you. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'll do that later. So once you run VMware, you've got a few options here. If you've already got um, Windows on Boot Camp, you can bring it across using this, or you can install a fresh copy, or you can bring Windows over from a PC that already has Windows on it, um, and bring it over to this machine via your network. And there are some video tutorials here too. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually install a fresh copy of Windows 7, and I've just inserted my copy of Windows 7 into my MacBook and as you can see it's been detected by the CD-ROM drive that's fine so what I'll do is click on install install this operating system continue now what I do is actually remove easy install because I just don't like it. I've, I've had problems with this where it's gone through and done some really strange things. So I install it as you would if you were installing it on a PC with a fresh copy. So continue. 40 gigs, that's about right. You can adjust your settings here. And what's happening now is basically going to go through and install Windows 7 on this machine. Select your language. That's pretty much it and Windows will go off and start uh, copying over all the files and installing Windows 7 on this machine. Accept. Next. Um, that's the drive we're going to install on. It's the only option we've got. That's fine. and off Windows goes. Copying, then expanding the window files, then installing all the features and so on so.
And here we are at the uh, Windows setup and it's pretty much as per usual. And there we go, Windows 7 is pretty much installed. Next thing we need to do before we go any further is go into install VMware tools. That will just resolve any possible issues there are with the system. As you can see, my sound doesn't work at the moment. So there are still some issues with the PC. Um, once it goes through and does this, everything should be A OK. And we're pretty much ready to set up the tools. So click set up. Yes. And this should resolve any issues you have with your PC. Okay, so what VMware is doing is just let you know that you've got no virus checker installed and you can install one. I'll do that a little later on. I won't worry about that just yet. VMware has finished installing VMware tools and now it's just restarting Windows 7 again. Well, there you have it, Windows is installed. What we'll do is go into full screen mode. There you go, so it's running at the right resolution. We can set this to auto hide so that resolves that issue um, go to properties device manager and as you can see no conflicts and everything is working a okay and no dramas there whatsoever everything's working nicely so there you go Windows 7 running under the Mac OS going back to the Mac is as simple as single window there you go, your Mac's there, all working perfectly. Hope you found that useful. Um, it's a really handy way to go this way because it saves you rebooting up and what have you and all that. Um, and it saves you using boot camp. I, I much rather this system because my system's a full Mac. There you go, hope you found that useful.